Look around you. What are you wearing today? A shirt? A frock? Or maybe a pair of pants? Now think about your teachers and friends. Are all their clothes made of same material? Our clothing comes in different fabrics and each serves a different purpose. During special occasions, we wear different type of clothes. In winter, we wrap ourselves in warm clothing like mufflers, sweaters and woolen hats. While in summer, we prefer breathable cotton fabric. Let, let's explore what our clothes are made of and where these materials come from. Have you ever thought about what materials are used for making garments? I mean, what are your clothes made of? Look around your school uniform, a sari, a woolen sweater, are they all made of the same material? Let's try a simple experiment. Take a thread from a woolen sweater, one from a cotton shirt and another from any fabric you have. Do they all look the same? Do they? Probably not. That's because different fabrics are made from different fibers. And what are fibers? Fibers are tiny building blocks of clothes. Some are soft and breathable, while others are warm and cozy. Let's dive in and explore different types of fibers that make up our clothes. Now that we know fibers make up our clothes, let's check out different type of fibers. Some fibers come from plants, like cotton fiber, which comes from the fluffy part of cotton plants. That's why cotton clothes feel so soft and airy. Then there is wool, uh, which keeps us warm in winter. But did you know that wool actually come from sheep or goat? Yes, that's true. And silk, that shiny, luxurious fabric, smooth fabric, comes from adult moth, which is silk worm, which is coming from adult moth. But not all fibers come from nature. Some like polyester and nylon are made by humans. And they are called synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. For now, let's take a deeper look at plant-based fibers and where they come from. Cotton is one of the most common plant fibers we use every day. But have you ever seen a cotton plant? A cotton farm looks like these. And when the cotton fruit ripens, it bursts open revealing soft fluffy fibers inside. These fibers are collected and spun into yarn to make the fabric that we wear. And here is something interesting. Not all cotton-like fibers come from cotton plant. There is this tree called Shimul Tula that produces a pulp that looks just like cotton. But growing cotton isn't as simple as it sounds. It needs the right type of soil and climate. That's why states like Maharashtra and Gujarat produce a lot of cotton. They are major producers of cotton in India. Even Odisha has areas where cotton is grown. Once the cotton is harvested, farmers use a special machine called cotton ginning machine to collect the fibers or separate the fibers from the seed. Long ago, this was done by hand, but modern machines make the process much easier. It must be pretty much evident now that cotton plays a big role in our daily lives, from the fields where it's grown to the fabrics we wear, making it one of the most important natural fibers in the world. Besides cotton, jute is another super useful plant fiber. It's mostly used to make sacks for storing rice, grains and other goods. Back in day, jute bags were everywhere. But now plastic bags have taken over. The good news, people are trying to bring jute bags back because they are eco-friendly and strong. Jute is mainly grown in villages and processing it takes time. Farmers soak the jute stalks in water for about 15 to 20 days to loosen the fibers. Once ready, the fibers are dried and turned into strong, durable fabric. Have you ever seen jute being processed? If you live in a village, ask your elders. Who knows, you might even find a jute processing area nearby. You should go and check it out. For a greener and safer earth, Bringing back jute is a great choice. As an eco-friendly fiber used for centuries, it is strong, biodegradable and supports both environment and local farmers. Now let's talk about coconut fibers. If you've ever peeled a coconut, you've probably noticed the rough stringy fibers under the shell. That's called a coir. It's super strong and is used to make 
robes, rugs and even mattresses. In coastal areas like Kerala, coconut trees are not just for food, they are also an important source of fiber. People use these coir to make all sorts of household items. Have you ever used a coir rope or walked on a doormat made from coconut fibers? You probably have but you maybe didn't realize that it is a fiber made from coconut. So next time you see one, you will exactly know where it comes from straight from the coconut tree. Let's summarize all this. Fibers are building blocks of fabric we use every day. Some like cotton, jute and coir comes from plants and are called plant-based fibers. People have been using them for centuries to make clothes, bags, ropes and household items. Cotton comes from cotton plant and it is soft and breathable and Maharashtra and Gujarat are the major producers of cotton. Jute on the other hand which is obtained from jute plant is durable and very strong. It is an eco-friendly choice as well. It is a great alternative to plastic bags and was once widely used for making sacks. Then there is coir, the rough fiber from coconut. It is super strong and hence that's used in making robes, rugs and mattresses. And you'll find a lot of it in coastal regions like Kerala where coconut trees are everywhere. Knowing where these fibers come from helps us appreciate their role in our daily lives. Plus, choosing natural fibers over synthetic ones is a small step towards a greener, healthier planet.